morning, good morning. It's time to spend the entire day with me, you guys. It is Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. It is 6.40. I've been up since 4.30. Child, I have two meetings today. I'm going to try to blow out my hair this morning. We got to stop by Tom Thumb to see what type of meats I can get. Um... Yeah, it's a lot going on today. We're going to be going to Papa Do's tomorrow. So maybe at the very end of this vlog, y'all yeah, know you're from Texas. You know about the Papa Do's and all that, um, even if you're not from Texas. So I want to blow out my hair. I think it's going to rain today here in, in Dallas. But I want to go ahead and blow out my hair. If you see this, this is for acne. Yeah, we'll get to this. I know all over the place, girl. So yes, you guys, how y'all doing? It's a lot going on. This is a couple of days after Halloween. It's a couple of days after um, one of the Migos unfortunately died. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on. Or maybe I have time now. First of all, I don't even keep up with music, y'all. I'm I'm old. I'm young, but I'm old. I'm old, but I'm young. <laughs> so I don't keep up with modern day music. So I wouldn't even be able to tell you the names or anything. But... I just found out that they were all kin, like two of them are cousins and one of them is the, one of them is like the uncle. So this young man, 28 years old, was shot in Dallas, no, no, in Houston, excuse me, in the morning, um, the day after Halloween, from my understanding, it was like an entourage of people. This is my thing that... <sighs> Regardless of who you are, you got to be very careful of your surroundings. And, and especially as a celebrity, you would think that the old school celebrities would educate these new these new celebrities and young men and basically let them know you got to leave that lifestyle behind. Because not everybody's going to be in your best corner. Even people in your own group are not going to have your best interests at heart. Even your own family. Um, so it's so funny. I saw... Uh, um, a quick video from prime time Deion sanders basically telling his team um uh, team yeah i know what they call it he's a, a coach at jackson state he was basically telling those young men that we playing in houston that mean nobody can leave the hotel nobody if your girl is if she wants to see you she needs to come over to the hotel family they need to come over to the hotel he even told them that it's going to get to a certain point where you're going to have to change your address and that's just symbolic for you got to change your your, your group and people that, that you are with if not you ain't gonna make it some people don't want to see you succeed and they would do anything and i understand the young man's stuff was, was an accident right but it's just really sad that, you know, I know I heard on uh, the radio station, K104, um, just a couple of days ago, they were saying that a rapper is dying every year. Uh-uh. Those are big rappers. Some rappers that are local are dying. Multiple are dying a year. But that's besides the point. Still, the number one cause of death for a young black man, like I think under the age of 19, is still homicide. Hell, I didn't even know that homicide is in the top five for black men regardless of age but regardless like i said this is a this is an issue with black men in general because there are so many that are not celebrities that are not popular and famous that are still dying at a ridiculous rate it's really sad you know gun violence in general is a problem here in america and we don't know what the solution is you know what i mean it's 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 almost a part of our culture here, which is so sad to say. It's a part of the culture here. It's ingrained in us. And we're a lot of the young, the population, the youth, and by youth, I mean under the age of 30, has become desynthesized to violence, which is why they had that young man's body. And that is so freaking sickening. What? Are you done eating breakfast? Yes. I'm going to say what? I never eat breakfast. You had those donuts. Okay, so what what did you you're not on camera? What did you think that was? That was on us. A snack? No, pretty much nothing. Mm -mm, talking about that's a snack. No, that's your breakfast. Play player player. So I'm gonna set the alarm. No, actually I'm not setting the alarm because it's already 653. Go ahead and put on your clothes, baby. Y'all JB is getting so tall. I'm gonna put him on camera here in a minute. 
He's getting so tall. Boo boo, you're going to be hitting your preteen. You're going to be a, what is it called, y'all? A tween soon. All right, y'all, just got from the grocery store and I got all my meats here. So, look, I know traditionally people like to do ham and, um, you know, uh, especially with the collard greens, cooking with the smoked ham hock. We don't do pork. Specifically, my husband doesn't. And so, out of respect for him and his family, they don't do, they don't do pork at all. So, they mostly do gaming, game meats like lamb, goat. Um, they do fish. Beef is big for them. Um, and, of course, chicken. So, what I have here is I have some Cornish game hens. And this would honestly be enough to feed eight people. That's This is enough for eight portions. Um, I think that's only going to be including JB, just five of us here. So, I just want to make sure I have a little bit more than enough. And then I have two different types of beef. I have I have to cut this into strips, and then I have this. I think what I'm going to do is have cook both of them. I'll ask my husband which one he thinks they would prefer. And then if he thinks that, that I need more of the other one, that's what I'll get. So, yeah. Um, in addition to that, the sides are going to be dressing. Normally, I do dressing with chicken. But since we're going to have two different types of meats, I'm not going to put the chicken in it. So, dressing, collard greens, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob. I don't, I know, look, I don't do macaroni and cheese. I think it's so heavy. Now, yes, I eat it, but I don't like to make it because, one, my husband doesn't do cheese a lot. So, what's the point of cooking all that and he's not going to eat it? Um, I got all these sweet potatoes over here, so I may do some, some, um, yams. Yeah, so but look how they're looking. My mama said they look okay. She said, no, this is okay, because this is organic. This is from, you know, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if these are going to last for another two and a half weeks. I may put them in the refrigerator, so, y'all, this light, and this thing, this light is going to be hard to switch out anyway, child. But let me tell you something. You have to excuse these towels. I'm going to get some new towels, but whatever, whatever. Gone are the days of me doing stuff that will you know i'm gonna be in kitchen in the kitchen all day which is why i'm not doing the macaroni and cheese which is why i am not doing the only dessert i'm doing from scratch is the sweet potato pie only because to me that's very easy um my dress is going to be from scratch everything most of it's going to be from scratch and fairly you know in my opinion easy but this is where i'm going to get my um my uh cheating from so I've been trying some different store bottles, it's not store bottles, some different pound cake mixes. This right here is the truth. But what I like to do, if I'm gonna be making something that's already stored, you know, something like this and cheat, I'm gonna add some stuff to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some pudding to it and I'm actually gonna use two packages. I'm gonna add some pudding to it and I'm gonna do like one fourth of a cup of cake flour. I'm gonna do vanilla. And then I'm going to make your traditional, I'm smacking y'all, I'm sorry, I'm all, girl, looking at this. Then I'm going to make your traditional lemon glaze. And so I have a couple of different pound cake pans in there and I may just do, I think I have like a 12 quart. My mom even got me a 14 one um, and I'll put it all in there. And so, yeah, this is what we have. I'm going to put everything in the freezer. I do have a whole chicken in the freezer because I like to make my chicken broth from scratch, from scratch at least. So one thing that helps me is i start cooking the day before i'm off the entire week so we'll have time all right y'all that was a quick little time it's now a little after eight o'clock <clears throat> i have a meeting here soon like i said earlier i have two meetings today um i just uploaded a chit chat video so i need to go on there and see how many comments are going on girl <laughs> It's so funny, the one, uh, the person I'm having a meeting with this morning, she's in India. She's based off of, out of South India. Most of our associates or employees are in India, actually. And I was telling her, she was surprised. She sent me a message. I think it was 5.30 my time. And she was like, Vivian, what are you doing up? I'm like, working, what are you doing? She's like, it's 5.30 over there. I know it's really early over there. I'm like, yeah, it is. And it's late over there. So, you know, and I was telling her, yeah. And I was, you know, she just had this, a child. I think her baby is like six months old. And I was telling her how I've had a child since I've been working here. And it's all about, you look, you have 24 hours in a day. It's all about planning your days out. Do I get everything done every day? No, I don't. Um... Well, we were talking about, you know, being a wife and being a mother, and it can be challenging at times. Um, 
And so the good thing with me is that, you know, my husband is at home. He doesn't work. So he picks up JV from school. He helps JV to a certain degree. He's, he's, he's almost like a dictator when it comes to making sure JV gets his stuff done. And I've had to talk to him. I'm like, you need to bring it down a few notches. Good morning. Hi there, Niha. How are you? Good. Well, before we get started, I harassed you and requested, <laughs> you know, the Go Perform end of year is due uh, in like a couple of more weeks. Yeah, I request a note from you. Absolutely. I was just going to say that if you definitely want to request a note from me, go ahead and yes, do so. Yeah. Okay, y'all, the first meeting of the day is done. I got some stuff to come in. I'm getting a little flush. I need to take off this. I was laughing at my coworker uh, because I was telling her how the one thing I like about working with people of all different backgrounds is that you can share so much information. And so I really, excuse, excuse me, y'all. I really like to ask people who have been in my position before just for ask for advice, you know, whatever. Um, Cause I don't know everything, child. So I need to, you know, and so one of the, developers that work here he said that he's looking to broaden his skill set because ai meaning artificial intelligence can replace his job soon because he's doing voiceovers and i was like oh you're right it's getting so good that it can replace and so i was talking to another woman who's been doing this stuff since the 90s she said vivian that the artificial intelligence is so smart now that we are teaching it how to respond to you based on feelings, quote unquote. I said, "What?" She said, "Yeah, we're, it's learning. Basically, it can to a to a certain point, it can learn." Child, when she said that, all I saw was I robot, I robot, and Will Smith when he was in the shower. Mm. But anyway, what's popping, guys? No shush. Today, today we are at my house where I live. He lives in Dallas, Texas, in a Texas side. And he's at our house for two days. He's staying here for a whole, like mostly the whole day. And right now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to a hotel. I'm gonna go to. He's, he's at. He's um the hotel that he's at is Best Western Plus. Yes, and uh, I want to do vlog there. So. I'm done. You guys, it's a little late, but I'm making this soup, um, loaded chicken soup. I have in here um, my aromatics, besides the carrots, um, sorry, uh, sorry, girl, celery, onions, garlic. Um, then I have some carrots. I have over here my chicken thighs cooling off. Over here, I have some potatoes. I have some corn. I have some, what do you call this, some parsley. So. I'm going to take out about three cups of the soup and add a little bit of cream in mine. My husband can't really do cream. And yeah, this will be our late dinner. And then I have some rolls. They're going to go into the oven also.